what you find around this area as well is that these type of buildings are just everywhere there's so many of them and you keep coming across them and now all they are is just in somebody's back garden Obviously this tree has been there for centuries when you look at that and I was just looking down the bottom there if I zoom in there's a bit of intricate works just by there so maybe down to a cellar or something but then I noticed around here is this tree and what is incredible about this tree is that look at that how oh, the tree has grown over the old stone wall which you see carries on down there I was just about to walk away and notice there's another example there's a wall there's a tree and the wall that's grown into it and look at this decorative stone down there how sad really such a beautiful building just come across this little ford here by the old mill and that's where we just come from the castle up there in Lantrithid and this is where we're going now towards Lampwick Major so we come across this lovely place here just along the side of the road and you can see this fireplace here we found this building just on the side and as you'll see it's probably a well it was an old pub by the look of it so just entered the village of Land Mice lovely little place to stop so I've just entered the little village of Lantwood Major such a pretty little village old buildings stunning old buildings as you see here and down there is the lane that we're going to go to the beach and then we come in here it's a bit of a cyclers mecca there's not many here today but um come into this square which is really pretty and as you see all the way around such lovely buildings just give you an example this is the swan and look at the type of history there as we're saying it was an inn during the time of the English Civil War and, and uh, Prime Ministers etc of Stadia and that little window is just such a lovely little place to come and visit so just across from the swan we then have the town hall, as you see, built in the Norman period, it says. So that being the case, that's at least 900 years old, because it was rebuilt in 1485, which, as you know, there's the Battle of Bosworth. And still going to this day, probably 900 or years or more later, still working, and not just a piece of history, but a living building so we've just come across to a place called church lane and this lovely little stream as you see runs alongside this abandoned building well I say abandoned but it's uh, the remains of what was but it's right next to a mass for a small village a massive church an old Norman church but what a lovely place just come across this other place in Lampwick Major we just can't seem to leave it because there's so many this is I thought it was a castle but it's actually on the sign says it's an Elizabethan manor
and so we've made it down now to Lambert Major Beach. And hopefully we're gonna try and follow that path up there along the top of that coast. And in the just over there you can see that's Atlantic College in Welsh St. Donnet, so that's really our destination. So it just came up that steps. There's about hundred or more steps coming up there bringing the bikes weren't easy but now head that way down the path to Welsh St Donuts Something you see on the coast a lot are these old World War II pillboxes. So along the path now and halfway to Welsh St Donuts we've come across this which is Tresillion Bay. So what you see in the distance is um, St Donuts Castle that was built in the 12th century and um, it's now a college, Atlantic College. And so we made it now, we're at Welsh St Donuts. Right over there is where we first came out, Lambert Major Beach. Skies are slightly beginning to clear. You see North Devon over there in the distance, if I can zoom in a little bit. And then right behind us is the castle. Just coming into Welsh St Donuts. So we were just down at the coast. Now this is the entrance to the old castle, which is now, as we say, a college. So we just come to the village of Boverton and um, come across this beautiful place here. So again, just found this little entrance we could go and have a look at this building, but what a place. So we're down at Abathor Beach. But if you have a look right behind us, there's your power station. So just cycling down here and just come across that place there. Don't know what it is but it looks amazing. An old mill of some type. So along the coast here we come to a place called Fontagheri Caravan Park which is a massive caravan park but some great little places to stay with some views. Just pulled over now into the tiny little hamlet of St Andrew's Major. Again another one of these Norman churches. So you're looking at nearly a thousand year old church surrounded by lovely countryside again. And so nearing that end now we're here now in the city centre, in the park to the castle and just notice they got this display here of, as you see of all the different dinosaurs great area to bring the kids 